Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest version of Microsoft Excel so that you can get newer functions and new features to help you stay productive. This video will also show you how to download the latest version of your favorite Office apps. So the first thing we're going to do is right on desktop, we're going to create a folder. So from my research, the latest version is 2024. So I'm going to create a folder. So I'll right click and select new, select folder. So on this folder, I'm going to name it Office 2024. So I'll name this Office 2024. And then I'll press enter. Once I'm done with that, I'll open up my Google. On Google, I'm going to type Office Deployment Tool. So I'm going to search for Office Deployment Tool. And on this first search result, I'm going to click here. Once I click for it to open, I'll click to download the Office Deployment Tool. So I'll click here to download the Office Deployment tool and it has downloaded into my PC. So I'm going to open it up on the Downloads folder. So this is the Office Deployment tool. I'll right click on it and then click to open. So once I click to open, it's going to run as an administrator. I'll click yes. Then I'll click here to accept the terms and then click to continue. Once I click to continue, it will show this page and I'm going to scroll down to select the Office 2024 folder. Then I'll select OK. Once it's done, the files have been extracted successfully. So once we're done with that, we'll go back to Google and then search for another tool. This time around, we're searching for Office Customization Tool. So Office Customization Tool. I'm going to also select the first search result here. So this search result is going to open and over here in the deployment settings, we have the product and releases. So you can select the architecture of your system. So mine is 64 bits. I'm going to scroll down. Then for the product, for the product I want, I'm going to select this. And these are the products. The latest version is Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024. I'll select that. And then I'll also scroll down here. Then you can also select the version that you want. But for now, we want the latest version. So at this point, you can turn off the apps that you don't need. So here you have Excel and other Office apps. So you can turn off the apps that you don't need. The ones that are turned on are the ones that will download and install into your PC. Then we can go on to also select the language. So my primary language, I want to select English United Kingdom. So after the language, I'm going to scroll down and basically that's what we need to customize for this particular tool. If you come to the right hand side here, if you scroll down, you can see the license and activation. So what we need to do is to click to export this. So I'm going to export. Once I click to export, this is going to show and we want it in XML format. So I'm going to click this and then select OK. Once I select OK, I have to accept the terms of this license agreement and then click to export. So this is going to export and of course, I'll go back to my downloads folder. So here I'm going to select this configuration, this XML file. I'm going to cut it and then I'll go over to, I'll open up the Office 2024 folder and paste this file right here. So after pasting this file right here and keeping everything organized, we need to cut and paste this entire folder. So I'll go back to desktop. I'll cut this entire folder and go over to my local digs. So under my local digs, I'm going to paste this right here. So we have Office 2024 folder in the local digs. So the next thing I'm going to do is to open up my command prompt. So I'm going to type CMD. So for command prompt, we want to run it as an administrator. So we're going to open this up and right here, we're going to type CD. So once I type CD, so let's go back to our Office 2024 folder. I'm going to click to open this folder and right here, I'm going to right click and copy the address. Then I'll go back to my CMD. After typing CD, I'm going to keep a space and then 
right click to paste it immediately i paste it i'll press enter so once i press enter it has changed directory to the office 2024 then we're going to type this setup then you keep a space a forward slash you write configure and you keep a space then you type configuration dot xml once you type that you have to press enter then you just wait for it to show you this but remember that you have to uninstall the previous version that you have and if you don't have any microsoft 365 or office apps in your system you are just good to go but if you do you have to uninstall the previous version so that you'll be able to install the newest one so this has taken us to this page it's just telling us to stay online while this microsoft 365 apps will install and download into our pc so this is going to take a while depending on the number of apps that you selected and of course your internet connection so you're just going to wait for some minutes so the apps are done installing this took approximately 13 minutes yours could be more or less depending on the speed or strength of your internet connection so once i'm done with this i'll just click to close so once I close that, I'll quickly, let me come to search. Let's search one of the apps. So we have Excel here. I'm going to click it to open. Let's see if this app has installed properly. So Microsoft Excel has opened. So I'm going to open a blank workbook here. So let's check out some of the newer functions that is available. So we have the filter function. As I'm selecting, you can see the filter function. We also have the image function. Of course, to return images, we have the dgate function to extract from database. We have the dsum function, adds number of fields or records in a database. So we also have like the edge stack function to stack arrays into one array horizontally. We equally have the vstack. So we have a lot of newer functions here that you can use. In case you don't see any of these functions in your PC, just restart it and everything will work out fine thank you so much for watching this video if you found this video helpful please hit on the subscribe button thank you